Okay, so this is iPad Pro 13 inch 2024 model with M4 chip and the Apple Pencil Pro. So the first thing first, I have paid for both these products with my own money and uh, you must have seen a lot of reviews already online by the YouTubers who were provided uh, with these products soon after the launch. So they spent three or four days with the products and then they come up with the review and you must have seen all of those ones. Uh, but my experience will be very similar to you guys. If you buy these products brand new, I haven't seen this iPad before uh, other than obviously on YouTube and uh, in the Apple launch. Uh, obviously the pencil, I haven't seen this one before as well. Uh, it's very similar to the previous version, uh, but uh, obviously the functionality is much improved. Also, I will compare this iPad with uh, my S9 Plus, the Samsung's latest tablet. And so let's start the unboxing first. Okay, I have gone for the black version and the specs I have gone for are the higher specs and I will give you the reason why did I do that. Okay, the first impression is very thin. Second impression is not really black. It is like a darker version of the gray. It's only one main camera at the back. The other one is a LiDAR scanner and the quad flash or whatever it is. One thing I'm really concerned about, I am in UK, I'm from UK. So I just wanna see if Apple has provided us with a charger and the answer is no. So what's this? Okay, it's the iPads and other stuff. This is just the paperwork. With a black uh, 13 inch version, you get the black charging cable, but we don't get, even though in UK and Europe, we up, if you, if you do the maths and the conversion from dollar to pounds, you will see that we are paying more money for the iPad, but we're not getting the charger. So that's the first thing. Uh, that's a bit of bummer, but uh, let me just unbox the pencil. Just like an older pencil, but obviously it says, well it says I, uh, my pencil pro. Okay, let's put this on side. I'm gonna quickly come back to the iPad. So speakers at the bottom, as you can see there, uh, with the USB-C, it's a Thunderbolt 4 port. And uh, then you got the volume rockers here. And on the top, you got a power button along with the two more speaker grills. And on this side, it's nothing. Let me just bring the my Tab S Plus. Take it out of the case. Okay, so it's not a huge difference as you can see. Okay, the quick comparison uh, of the dimensions and the weight, the iPad 13 is 579 grams and uh, the S9 Plus is 568 grams. Uh, when it comes to the screen size, S9, it has, uh, S9 Plus, it has 12.4 inch screen. Obviously, the aspect ratio is a bit different compared to the iPad. Uh, iPad has 13 inch screen. So when it comes to the color, I think it's this one is more on a gray side and uh, the Samsung is more kind of a, I will say, more towards a bluish side and slightly looks like a bit more darker. At the back, they have, uh, the Samsung has two cameras and the uh, uh, iPad 13 has only one camera. Uh, the flash is better on iPad, so it's gonna be better when it comes to scanning the, the documents. And the next thing is uh, obviously the weight. I will say it. obviously this one is the uh, iPad 13 is slightly lighter, but it's not a huge difference. Uh, so when it uh, comes to the screen resolution, the iPad has a resolution of 2064 by 2752 pixels. And uh, the Samsung has a real resolution of 1752 by 2800 pixels. So this one is 19 by six, I believe the screen, and this one is four by three aspect ratio. So the iPad has, has a higher resolution screen. Let me just set up my iPad 
and then we'll compare the screens, speakers. Okay, my iPad is uh, ready to roll now, it's all set up. Uh, let's first do the boot app test and see which device boots up quicker. So one, two, three. let's see as i said samsung is our older tablet now it's due for refresh so okay ipad is ready to go let me just quickly do the password when it comes to the brightness i can definitely see the ipad screen is much brighter yeah as you can see on the screen that ipad is uh, much brighter compared to the Samsung one obviously because of the camera the, the the lights I'm using for the video and everything it's not looking much brighter on the camera but uh, yeah I can tell clearly and you can see the difference basically on the camera screen as well that that iPad uh, screen is much brighter compared to the S9 plus screen it's more vivid Yeah, slightly sharper as well because of the higher resolution of the screen. Yeah, the HDR performance is much better on the iPad. That's for sure. Let's check the the speaker quality. I'm gonna play this video. It's my other channel. Uh, so this is was from the Samsung. And let me do the iPad now. Let's do it again. Let's do the iPad now. Uh, sound quality, I think iPad is uh, better, it's more bass uh, compared to the Samsung ones. So yeah speakers are better definitely on the ipad uh screen is much better it's much more uh, brighter more vibrant on ipad uh compared to samsung but obviously as i said and i'm saying it again that this is a last year model this year's model is not out yet it's due to be released by samsung in a couple of months time so then we will be able to compare like apples to apples properly uh, but at the moment this is the latest uh, version from samsung when it comes to their tablets and uh, this is the latest from the apple i don't have i can understand that there is also a bigger version of this tablet available s9 ultra i don't have at the moment so this one is uh, the mid-tier one uh the not the spec wise just the size wise specs are similar to the ultra version it's just the screen size so yes the boot up speed faster on apple uh obviously the processor is i think two or maybe even more times faster than the snapdragon uh gen 8 uh 2. okay let's check the apple pencil as i said it has uh, the samsung pencil has buttons and uh, i'm just gonna quickly check i'm not a big uh, artist or anything like that I'm just gonna check how does it feel when you write on the screen uh, I am a big user of Samsung Notes and normally I do take notes uh, for my work and stuff like that and for me the Samsung Pencil is it gives you more like a uh, kind of a pencil feel it's like feel like you it's not plastic on a plastic it's more like a rubber kind of a feel on plastic it's slightly uh, it's a slight friction let me just try the Apple Pencil on the other side it is kind of same 
but I still prefer how it feels with a Samsung pencil and if you see the nibs as well the the Samsung pencil has a slightly thinner nib compared to uh, the Apple one it's just a piece of plastic or rubber whatever it is but for me the size wise Apple pencil feels more like a regular pen or pencil compared to the Samsung one Samsung one is uh, slightly thinner uh, but I do like feel uh, of the Samsung pencil uh, or maybe I'm just used to of that so I might be biased about that and more I'll use Samsung pencil I'll get better uh, or start liking this bit more I think it's not bad and what about this battle thing I can't see anything at the moment but uh, let me just do the pinch one okay it's a slight haptic feedback you get it maybe this is not supported in this app uh, but yeah I will see so the both of them they're good uh, if you uh, like uh, if you want to get the feeling of a regular pen and pencil Apple pencil is better but the uh, the resistance side slight resistance that you get with the Samsung pencil I prefer that uh, functionality obviously I need to spend a bit more time with the Apple pencil and then I can give you a better uh, idea about that okay let's talk about the specs uh, I have gone for the one TV model and uh, the reason behind that is because along with a 2 TV uh, storage model uh, these are the only two models that comes with a full M4 uh, processor version if you go for the 256 and 512 uh, GB uh, models they come with a binned version of M4 uh, what do I mean by the binned version uh, the M4 processor has four performance cores cores and six efficiency cores but the 256 GB and 512 GB models they come with the binned versions mean they come with a processor M4 processor that that has uh, three performance cores and six uh, efficiency cores instead of having a full four performance cores so in the real world I don't know at the moment what will be the performance difference but I assume those processors with uh, three performance cores they will perform 20 to 25 uh, percent less compared to the fully spec'd out M4 uh, processor with the four performance cores so that was the reason behind it the main reason another reason was uh, uh, 1TB and 2TB iPad versions they come with 16 GB of RAM and uh, for my use case I'm a video and photo editor uh, I need a lot of RAM uh, at the moment I can understand that uh, Final Cut version on iPad does not require more than 10 11 GB of RAM but WWDC is just around the corner and I am hoping like many others that Apple will improve the software experience on iPad and these powerful chips uh, will be uh, used to their full potential at the moment even if you have the M1 version you are still not using that chip to its full potential uh, because of the software limitations on iPad so I am hoping like many others that uh, it will improve if you don't use uh, app professional apps like Final Cut Pro blender or uh, other video productivity or 3d rendering apps I think the previous uh, iPad Pro models they are more than good enough uh, screen obviously is brighter it's more thinner but but these things uh, when it comes to the thinness you may get uh, surprised or you really like it when you get it but it's that that's something that you will not even care after a couple of days uh, it will be just like a regular iPad so the weight difference obviously I'm not sure but I think it's like maybe a hundred gram or less than hundred gram weight difference compared to the older model um, or maybe more um, I don't know about that but it's, it's not going to be a huge difference so uh, this thinness and these things obviously they are nice uh, but you will forget it in a couple of days the main thing is the power in this in this device is the uh, will it be will apple will provide us with uh, a better software for ipad that we can use the full potential of these powerful chips 
so if nothing will change most likely i will sell my one or if i'll be in within the returning window i will send it back i will not keep it uh, because it's six seven hundred pound extra when you jump from a base model of ipad to the one tb model or if you want to go for the two tb model that's even more expensive so that's the only thing only reason that i have gone for the 16 gb version uh, one terabyte storage and uh, the full uh, m4 chip with the uh, four performance cores and six efficiency cores otherwise you don't need to get the new model even just for watching movies the led the mini led version of the last years or even the m1 version of uh, uh, 2018 2019 uh, well, models they're good enough those led screens are very good uh, not as good as these ones but unless you're comparing them side by side you're not going to see any difference what well, this uh, tablet even though the brightness is uh, quite low compared to the ipad i was more than happy with this one and if i'm this is the only screen i have to watch movies i will prefer this one over the phone even over my uh my macbooks because macbooks they have many led and uh, these ones oled screens they are much better so at the end of the day it depends on it all depends on the use case scenario why you need the ipad and what you will be using on this screen if just watching movies and playing games this is good enough samsung ones is good. you can you can easily get get it on a used market for 6 700 pounds or the the new ipad air uh, even though it's a 60 hertz screen but on an ipad it's not going to make a huge difference if you really need 120 hertz screen uh, you are playing like a bit fast uh, faster games like with the motion graphics and stuff then go for the older uh, version of ipad pro or the, even the the model that came in i think in 2021 or 2022 with the m1 version those are good enough they those ipads are powerful I never had an iPad. The last iPad I bought was, uh, I think, uh, the first iPad Pro, the 10.5 inch one that came. And the reason I didn't upgrade or I didn't buy uh, iPad is because of the software limitations. This year, the way the new keyboard has been design designed and the camera apps they introduced, I think that they will uh, offer a better software a kind of version for these iPads uh, in near future and I'm really hoping so otherwise 525 uh, 512 GB 256 GB with 8 GB RAM it's no difference it doesn't matter if he had 16 or 24 GB or 32 GB inside if you're not going to be using that RAM what's the point of that RAM in your iPad so you're better off going with the, the, with, the, with, the with the base model so that was the only reason I went for the 1 TB version and again if it's nothing going to be improved uh, when it comes to the software this will go back or if i'm out of the window i'll just sell it or i'll just lose well, 100 150 pounds or something like that but i will sell, sell it i will not keep it another thing i did not go for the keyboard the reason behind it if i have to use the keyboard at the end of the day uh, for the main apps and everything i will just use my macbook i can understand some people they would like to have just one device and so they can use the the functionality of the touch screen and at the same time they can use it as a macbook i can understand that but i again i am waiting for the software if the software will be good enough that it can uh, it's as good as or not even as good as even even if it gives me 75 80 percent performance of what i'm getting from my m3 macbook pro I will just sell my MacBook uh, Pro and buy the keyboard for this iPad and this will be my only device along with my Mac Studio. So that one, when I've got really like 8K projects and stuff like that, I'm working on them. Uh, then obviously you can't do that one uh, on iPad. You can do with like a couple of transitions and few titles, but if you've got like few layers of 8K video, then this won't be able to handle that for sure. Again, don't go for those marketing things like it's very thin and this and that. You will forget it. When it will be in a case, uh, as I've showed you as well, what's the difference like? One millimeter difference compared to uh, the Samsung and when you got them side by side, you don't even feel anything. So don't go for that. Oh, it's very thin. Oh, yeah, brightness, that's something that uh, you will, uh, that's, that's, that's a difference. I'll say that, that that is something really impressive. 
but thinness and stuff yeah again another thing <laughs> the way this thing is thin don't sit on it it will break 100 percent doesn't matter it's physics it's not made out of stainless steel or whatever it's aluminium and uh, it's a simple physics when you'll put pressure on it because of the surface area of the device if you put the pressure right in the middle it will snap it will break so don't just leave it on a sofa and somebody comes and sits on it it will it, it will bend 100 percent it will bend so yeah otherwise yeah just go for the base model you know what your needs are and i really say just wait for the wwdc if you want to go buy go and buy the higher spec version wait for that and see what the software will offer and that will give you a better idea which ipad uh, will work good for you so that's it for today take care bye bye